children. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لئن شكرتم لأزيدنكم صدق الله صدق الله من الرجيم His Royal Highness and distinguished guests it gives me great pleasure and I'm greatly honored as well as at the same time I feel greatly humbled for being chosen as an outstanding da'i in the Muslim world. I come from a country in the southmost tip of Africa. If you look at the map of the continent of Africa, at the southmost point, you will see a country called South Africa. In that country, the Muslim happened to be about half a million. And on their behalf, I bring to you the peace and salutations. On their behalf, I say to you, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In that country, in that ocean of Christianity, we Muslims happen to be less than 2%. And the Christian missionaries had been making great attempts to digest us. And for 300 years, they have been hammering the Muslims to pervert them, to convert them into Christianity. But after 300 years of hammering, these Muslims have turned out to be one of the most militant Muslim communities in the world. In that part of the world, because of the forces that are there trying to digest us, we have developed techniques of propagation, which technique we are out to share with the Muslims of the world. What is the way as Allah Ta'ala tells us in the Holy Quran, Udu ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati, say, invite all to the ways of thy Lord with wisdom. Wal mau'izatil hasanati, and with beautiful preaching. Wajadilhum billatiya ahsan, and reason with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. And we have developed these techniques of how to call the Jew towards Islam, the Christian towards Islam, the atheist, the Hindu towards Islam. And in the words of the Holy Quran, I say, pull, tell them, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, O people of the book, O Jews and Christians, ta'alaw, come. Ila kalimatin sawa'im baynana wa baynakum. That we come to common terms as between us and you. Let us get on to a common platform. We are asked, we are commanded to call the Jews and the Christians to a common platform. And that common platform, Allah bari ta'ala gives us the terms and conditions of getting together. Number one, that we worship none but Allah, and that we associate no partners with Him, and that we do not take from among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. But if they turn back, tell them that we are Muslims, we have submitted our will to the will of Allah. Now that message, this Quranic message is now collecting dust in the Topkapi Museum in Istanbul. If you go to Istanbul in the museum, you will find a letter written by our Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 1400 years ago. That letter was addressed to Emperor Heraclius at Constantinople, which began with the first verse of the Quran, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. It continues from Muhammad Rasulullah to Heraclius the Emperor at Constantinople, accept the religion of Islam and be benefited. And this Quranic verse, kitab That letter is collecting dust. Not physically, 
But spiritually, that message is collecting dust. It is about time that the Muslims of the world took that message once more again from, from collecting dust and spread it to the Jews and the Christians and invite them to the religion of Allah. And I hope and pray that you also hope and pray with us that Allah give us success in spreading His message throughout the world. Wa akhirud dawan anil hamdulillahi rabbil alameen.